Hi everybody, it's Ellen again. I have another tutorial for you, and this time it is for this flower. Um, I just did, this is the basic flower that I made. Um, this is entirely single banded. It is entirely on one loom, and it is not my crazy way of doing it on the side. It's actually very easy to make. Um, the pin bars are offset like normal, so anybody can make it. Um, only has one place where it's connected, so um, there's no C-clips or no anything else. Super easy to make. Um, it's just a great little flower, really. And then this one is also single banded in the petals, and it's technically single banded, but I added little loops to the inside when I did the middle, um, just to kind of give it a little pop in the center. Not sure if I'm totally digging it yet, but it's, it's another option. It's definitely cute. And then we have this flower, which is the same exact banding as the single, but this is doubled. Um, there's only one difference with the um, single versus the double, and I'll point that out when we get there. Um, but it's definitely a cute little flower. I like how the um, on the double banded, you can really notice that how the petals kind of cup up. I think that's really pretty. But we'll get started. Okay, so loom set up like normal. Um, uneven pin bars. And first we're going to make the petals. And to do that, we're going to turn our loom around so that we're working on the red arrow side um, facing away from us. And what we're going to do first is um, I'm just going to do this single banded. If you want to do it double banded, that's totally cool. But we're just going to work, actually make the yellow one here. So we're going to start in the center and we're going to come down from the top four bands. Like that. And you come to the right and we're going to go down two bands. And then the third one from here is going to stretch across to the bottom of the middle, like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, and stretch the third, like that. And then we're going to put a cross piece right here, and an end cap wrapped twice. Right there. Then with this cross piece, I'm just going to take this far band, pull it towards me, and then take the other band and pull it away. Like that. And that is the entirety of a petal. So we're just going to loom this out. So you go in through your end cap, grab the top band, pull it back towards itself and go all the way up. Go back in here, grab the next one, loom that all the way up, and then come back to the middle. And this band just kind of flops over, but just make sure that when you stick your hook down through here that this is still around the other side of the pin. Then just go up the middle, like that. And that's a whole petal done, pretty much. So now what we'll do is so that um, you can fit three petals on your loom at a time. So all you have to do is pop this off, let it hang there, and then we'll start down right below that with our next petal. So right here in the middle, go down four, like that, and go to a side, go down two normally, and then the third one crosses way over. Same thing on the other side, two down, 
and this one crosses over. Put in that cross piece. And I'm not putting a cross piece here just because I think it bunched up the petal too much and kind of got rid of the little roundness to the outside. Um, so you got the cross piece, now the end cap. Just double wrapped. And you go and take that far band away from you, pull it over this pin, and the other one up that way. And I do it this way because it gets loomed in there better. If I just do like the triangle or the diamond or whatever they else they're doing, um, they end up poking out the sides of the petal, and I just want it more hidden, so that's why I'm doing the weird thing right there. But then you come back, go in through your end cap, and loom this petal out. You'll just go up one side, and then go up the other side, and then come back into the middle. And then you have that band that just kind of flops over. Like that. So another petal done. So again, if you just flip this off, then we have room for one more petal. So start in the middle, come down four. that, then go on the side, come down two, and then cross over with a third. And then the same thing on the other side, like that, cross piece, and the end cap. Move your bands for the cross piece. And then loom it out. Okay, so now we have three petals. Um, and obviously we need the loom again, so I'm going to take these off, and all I'm going to do is just put them back on my hook. So I just start on one side, put my hook through, put it through the next one, and then through the next one and pull it off. And then I'll just slide this kind of down my hook out of the way. Same thing for the next ones. There's three of my petals. So I have to do the same thing all over again. Starting at the top, four down. And on the side, go down two. And then the weird cross one. Other side, down two. Then the cross. cross piece and the end cap. Now move the bands for the cross piece and loom it out. that. Make room for the next one. Four down the middle. And 
it on two on the side. Cross over with the third. And then do the same thing on the other side. Cross piece. And end cap. Move your cross piece bands. And then loom it out. Like that, and make room for the last one. Four down the center. And two down, the third crosses the over. Same thing on the other side. And the cross one. Now that cross piece and the end cap double wrapped. Move your bands for the cross piece. Then loom out your last petal. Alright, so just like that. And now what I'm going to have you do is actually come up to this first petal near the red arrow and you can take that one off and put that one on your hook too. Slide them down and make room. Then I'm going to turn my loom around and then we're going to make basically a starburst or a small honeycomb. So just go off to the right, up one, and then back towards the middle. Same thing on the other side. Like that. And then you can go ahead and lay your center starburst out to each pin. These are still all single banded. When I did the double banded one, um, it was super tight with double banding everything in there. So just kind of keep that in mind. And I used kind of sticky bands too, so that was kind of a bad idea to try to do it that way, but um, just that. And then an end cap um, two or three times, depends how tight your bands are. Um, this was just twice, so I mean it's you can move these around a little bit to get the center in there. You don't want it too super tight. Alright, so now what we're going to do is put our petals on our little circle here, or hexagon. So you're going to take one petal, and here is the difference between doing the double or a single. If you're doing a single, you'll take one band wrap it around your hook, grab both sides, and we're going to pull this entire thing through our petal. If you're doing the double banding, you can just take, well, two bands, I guess recommended, and you just pull that straight through your petal. You don't have to double loop it or anything, because otherwise it was super t too tight to do it on there, and if I just pulled the band through here, it wasn't tight enough and the petals just kind of fell off or they kind of hung there off the side. So one band, wrap it around your hook, grab both sides, and then pull this through your petal. Like that. 
And now what we're going to do is drop our petal. Okay. Just not my day. Of course, I think it is like 1 o'clock in the morning, so that might have something to do with it. Alright, saved again. So, try this again. Double wrapped. <clears throat> Pull it through the petal. And now, we need to stretch each of these ends between the two pins. It can be a stretch, especially with some bands. Like, these bands, of course, are kind of on the tight side. like that. So you just see it kind of laying between there. Now you do the same thing for the other petals. Double wrap the band, pull it through, and then if for me if I make sure to cover the hook or hold the, the hook kind of near the end with my finger and I can get the one side on that's not on my hook and then just stretch the other side over. These are probably the tightest bands that I've worked with doing this flower so it's a little bit of a stretch. Next petal Wrapping that band twice, then pull it through. Just get one side on, and stretch the other side over. Like that. And I still have one more petal on my hook here. Pull it through, and it gets a tight fit. And once you start getting over by the pins, but like that, and then we'll go ahead and take off the other petals. that. Come back to our end here. Double wrap the middle band. Pull it through. Pull it through. And I did it again. At least these aren't too bad because it's just basically a single bracelet to get them back through. Try it again. You know, I don't have half as much trouble when I'm doing just making the stuff. And then when I go to show everybody, it's like what can fall apart and what can break and I guess that's what makes it exciting though. Alright, and the last petal. It's double wrapped. Pull it through. And put the last one on. So 
what we're going to do is just loom out the center starburst here. So go in through your end cap and pull these back towards themselves. Like that. Then we're going to loom up the under hexagon there. So go in through here and grab the top, well, not quite the top band, top bottom band, and just loom them over to the top right here. It's a little tight. If your bands are tight, it gets tight. But then come back down here and do the same thing up the other side. that. And you probably just want to check to make sure you got them all with the flower petals in the way. It kind of um, makes it hard to see. But that's everything. So now we can take this off of our loom. So you can stick your hook up here. If you want to bring a band up first, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And then pull this off. Maybe. And then I hook out of there. All right, to close this, I would, so you can kind of hide the connection better, you just pinch right below here. And if you stick your hook in through this band right here, kind of go up through some of the middle stuff, and then bring your band out in the same place on the top. Grab that band up there and just pull it through. I snagged an extra band there. So now I have both bands that are holding this together on the back side. And I'll just pull it through. So then, take your flower, kind of fluff out the petals. If you grab onto the end caps and kind of pull on those, that helps a bit. So like so. So a very pretty flower, super quick and easy, like, well except for I have problems right now I guess with my hook and getting bands on the loom, but hopefully you won't have as many issues, but that is my tutorial for this wonderful little flower, which like always I'm going to have to come up with a name for, so hope you like it, spring is coming, we need some more flowers, so thanks for watching my tutorial and I'll have more for you soon. Thanks.